Monday, December 11th. And today is Gingerbread House Day. Gingerbread was originally baked for religious rituals. Monks often imprinted saints or other religious iconography onto the bread before handing it out to locals as a means of religious education. And gadgets and gizmos. It's real. This Bluetooth-enabled banana phone connects to your smartphone, allowing you to talk on a banana. While the banana phone may be nothing more than a gag gift, 1% of all sales go to the serious business of gorilla conservation. So it's for a good cause. And what's the difference? What is the difference between genetically modified and genetically engineered foods? Genes are modified naturally from generation to generation through natural selection. In this way, humans have been genetically modifying foods for thousands of years through selective breeding and hybridization. Genetic engineering occurs in laboratories. Scientists attempt to shortcut natural modification by engineering genetic material in a lab to create benefits like, yeah, benefits like corn that resists insect damage. And word to the wise. The word pandemonium means a state of disorder and uproar. Author John Milton coined the word in his novel Paradise Lost, where pandemonium was the capital city of hell full of fiends and demons. And on this date, in 1620, William Bradford and the pilgrims, after sailing for 66 days across the Atlantic Ocean, left the Mayflower and set foot on Plymouth Rock in Massachusetts. And in 1844, nit nitrous oxide laughing gas was used for the first time in dentistry. Dentists still use it to provide sedation and reduce patient anxiety. In 1967, a prototype of the supersonic airliner known as the Concorde was first unveiled. British technology Minister Tony Benn explained that the last E in the name stood for excellence. And to set the record straight, before the pilgr pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock, they made landfall on Cape Cod. There is no record of stepping onto a rock of any sort. However, in 1741, town record keeper Thomas Funtz declared that rock, the rock to be of historical significance. And for the quote of the day, smell the roses, smell the coffee, whatever it is that makes you happy. Rita Moreno said that. And today happens to be her birthday. Rita Moreno was born in 1931. She is a dynamic Puerto Rican actress, singer, and dancer, best known for her role as Anita in The West Side Story. However, her life's work has encompassed far more, far more than film. Moreno is one of the few performers who have won an Oscar, Emmy, Grammy, and Tony Award. She began her career on Broadway at just at the age of 13 and debuted in movies just five years later. Moreno continues to perform, appearing in children's television shows and gritty HBO dramas. In 2004, Moreno was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And for the special days, because every day we have a special day, today on the 11th, we have Private Eye Day. Today is the anniversary of Magnum P.I. Who remembers that? Premiering on television, 1980. The popular show stars Tom Selleck. Who can name his trademark? Hmm. It is his mustache. <laughs> And we have National App Day. It is National App Day. No, not appetizers, applications. Those nifty and sometimes silly programs for smartphones and tablets. We have Let It Snow Day. On this day in 1932, snow fell in San Francisco. 
How often does that happen? San Francisco recorded a low of 27 degrees and a high of 35 degrees. Both records, Sacramento, California, also had a cold one that day, recording a low temperature of 17 degrees and a high of 34 degrees. And we have, it's a Lulu of a day. In celebration of the birth anniversary of Marjorie Buell in 1904, the creator of comic strip character Little Lulu. Who remembers that? And lastly, we have Mac and Cheese Day. James Lewis Kraft was born on this day in 1874. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the Daily Chronicles and the special days, and I will see you next time. Don't forget, have some mac and cheese.